Active weather moving through right now, but uh, the really severe stuff holds off until Wednesday. That's when we really need to be kind of on guard. It's into the spring months, so normally this time of year is usually when we start to see our first organized system pass through that could produce some severe weather. As of right now, though, there's a lot of heavy rain coming down now in Gadsden. The live look at the radar as well. Looks pretty daunting out there when you look at the radar view, but this is just heavy rain. Maybe some gusty winds, occasional cloud to ground lightning, but this is not going to be severe, and it'll stay that way the rest of the night tonight. Night. A few lightning strikes out there to the east of downtown Gadsden now along that Cherokee Etowah County line up to the northeast of Birmingham. Farther down to the south into Calhoun County, some heavy rain coming down towards Ohatchee as well. Into Shelby County, Childersburg and Harpersville picking up on a little bit of the action here. We got some heavy rain that's tracking east. Sylacauga, you guys will pick up some of this rain here in the next few minutes as well. Farther off to the west, some spottier showers towards Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa picked up on some of the heavy rain earlier today, but now letting up just for the moment. And for tonight and tomorrow, not necessarily concerned about severe weather too much, although we do have a marginal one out of five risk for tonight and tomorrow. That means heavy rain, brief gusty winds, tornadoes not likely for the next 48 hours. But starting Wednesday, that's when we really need to be on guard because that's when this next system strong enough will be will be strong enough to uh, potentially produce some severe weather. We're on a three out of five, an enhanced risk of severe weather, all modes possible. That includes tornadoes, potentially some golf ball sized hail and 60 to maybe even 70 mile per hour wind gusts with this next setup. Let's take you through the timing of it. So for tonight, just some pockets of heavy rain that continue into tomorrow as well. On your way out to work tomorrow, not too concerned about severe weather. Just keep your rain gear handy though, because you'll be needing it essentially all day long as these waves of heavy rain continue. Now going into Wednesday, this is the warm front we will really need to keep an eye on as this lifts northward. Any storm that develops along the front could produce some heavy rain, damaging winds, small hail. Anything south of the warm front, our future cast is showing this could turn into some to a discrete supercell type of situation Wednesday night, especially across portions of West Alabama. Not saying that to scare you. We're just here to warn you, especially here with this future cast here by 8 p.m. Some of these potentially evolving into discrete supercells ahead of the cold front. And that again is mostly going to be Wednesday night when that highest chance for tornadoes will be. Another look at what this looks like again Wednesday morning and Wednesday early afternoon should be okay north of that warm front. But Wednesday night, especially when this unstable air starts to move through is when that tornado likelihood is probably going to be the highest. Also can't discount that threat for heavy rain, looking at potentially two and a half to three and a half inches of rain in total over the next three days. A lot of a lot of us getting just a big washout. This first really first big spring washout of the year. So again, look at those threats. High threat for high winds, tornadoes, large hail, medium threat for flooding overall. So here's what you need to do. Download the CBS 42 news app. We have updated this latest app so that news and weather are now together. So you can download just one app instead of two to get those latest alerts. Make sure you know where the radio is charged. Know where your tornado safe spot is. So whether that means if you have a basement, make sure you know how to get there. And if you don't have a basement, make sure it's the interior room away from doors and windows. That is the goal. And the, whenever there's a tornado, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. So here's that seven day forecast. Once these storms clear out of here on Thursday, we cool off and stay dry. Fortunately for the weekend, a lot quieter for the first start of the, for the first day of spring on Saturday.